Do you want some free COD points? Yes. Then simply just drop a like, subscribe, and enjoy the video. What is going on my fellow floppers and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be discussing how you can go ahead and get those easy lobbies within Warzone. And a lot of people constantly asking, you know, trying to find out how they can get those easy wins, get those easy lobbies, and look as good as the streamers that you'll see nowadays. So make sure you stay tuned all the way till the end of the video to find out exactly how you can get those easy lobbies. We've got a few easy methods. Also guys, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications if you are new around here make sure you do go ahead and drop a like on today's video but with all that being said let's actually talk about how you can go ahead and get some really easy lobbies within warzone now one of the methods uh, will require you having a second console or if you are a pc player and you have a console it will require you guys turning on that console and um, brushing off the dust that you might have you know never touched for a very long time but what you want to do is guys you want to go ahead and create a second account once you've created that a second account you then want to go ahead and hop into a game of Warzone. Make sure you do not get no kills, get no XP or anything, and just stay alive until you die, basically. Um, so that's pretty much as simple as that. So then you'll come out of that game with extremely low KD, extremely low score per minute, and a very, very bad stats. Once you've completed this step, guys, you then want to back out and you want to join that account with your main account. Once you've done this, you can then hop into any game within Warzone, any different, you know, categories, whether that's being dual duos, trios, quads, solos, it doesn't matter, um, you can do any of them, well suppose you can't do solos because you do need to join up on this account, um, so duos, trios and quads you are able to do, once you've actually loaded into a game, uh, you don't have to use the main, like the second account, then your brand new account, you can literally just like die off, die in the ghoul, like whatever, it doesn't matter, uh, because you're going to be in one of the most easiest lobbies ever, you'll literally have brand new players to the game, or players that's been playing for a long time, that's really really bad, so you're going to find yourself into some super easy lobbies by doing this method uh, so you can do this really simple you can even invite your friends so if you did want to play like trios and stuff like that with your friends you can of course invite another two people to go ahead and play and just make sure that account is just you know it dies off somewhere it doesn't matter but you're going to get a lot of wins you're going to improve as a player because yes you are playing against lower skilled players but it's going to help you practice your aim your movement and everything regarding warzone now at the moment there is still a broken method within Warzone. So if you go into duos or trios as a solo, you're going to get yourself into some really easy lobbies. How this works is as a team combined, that's why it works out for your KD and your stats. So it works out your stats combined as a full team. If you're going in solo, your stats are going to match up to the other team, complete as a team, should I say. So there'll be three on the other team and there'll be you. Their all stats combined have to add up to your stats. So essentially you're playing like one third of a player to what you are. Are. so you're going to find yourself in some really easy lobbies win a lot of gunfights and it's gonna like i said make you a better player as well like the previous method because you're going to learn how to go ahead and take on full squads on your own so then when you are playing with your friends you know how to be a bit more tactical with it you know how to move around the map you've got better accuracy and you've improved as a player now these two methods are really easy to do um of course the first one it is ideally you do need a second console or if you play a pc you need to have a console or whichever um, even if you've, you're a console player and you've got a PC just set it up on a PC you know honestly if you don't know how to play a PC and you're bad on PC you're gonna have a bad first game anyway with that account um, but you do need to make sure you are uh, creating another account and you have two uh, platforms you can go ahead and play that one on but like I said they are very easy simple methods so you guys definitely want to make sure you go ahead and try these out right now before they get patched if I find any other methods I will obviously teach you guys as you guys love these videos um, and I love making them as well if you have enjoyed today's video guys make sure you drop a like subscribe if you're new but as always i'll catch you on the next video